Hello there assassins, welcome back to the Rinkomania from of course Stranger Things Season 4 and in Minecraft. This is going to be part number 4 actually and uh, yeah hopefully we'll get this entire rink completed today. Now I don't want to spend too much time in the intro so let's just crack on and get finishing this rink. So coming on into our rink in progress we are going to take ourselves some prismarine bricks, some blue terracotta, some quartz bricks, some yellow, magenta, white and some pink concrete, a mangrove door and end rods as well. Guys I'm probably going to build quite quickly today, hopefully not too quick, but if I do go too fast remember that the pause button is always there for your use. Alright then, let's begin. So firstly we're going to come over to this wall over here that we built kind of a while ago now, it was in like part one wasn't it? So this one just over here. Now quickly I'm just going to replace my uh, prismarine bricks here with some light blue concrete and just build this layer upwards just here matching the rest of the wall now I'll grab my uh, oops was it enrods I just got rid of oh man there we go got them back okay <laughs> now we can begin so now we have this over here we have two blocks past this glass area just there we want to go right to the very top and we're going to build four blocks of prismarine bricks just on here then we're going to come out for two from the building then we'll come out for a third one but knocking out these ones behind so we'll carry on doing diagonals now so leaving like a diagonal space below and we want to make sure we have uh let me just count my picture one two three four five six of these two three four five six and then we knock out the ones behind just double check the counting one two three four five six always up to the two blocks in height and there we go that will be around our corner then on the 7, of course, we go back along, and this should line up with the uh, the kind of blocks below it, just there. Perfect. Now this will go all the way to the other end, again, matching this side over here. So again, above the glass is where we stop. Very helpful that we've been in the glass before, because this will really, really help us to mark out every single part of the roof now. Wicked. Look at that. Looking good. So now we'll come on down to our other side, and of course, over here, it's going to match up again with the glass below it. So remember to knock out the ones behind it just so everything's nice and diagonal and once we get to uh, it's the block just here actually the one with the slab on well it's kind of block slab just there that's where we stop and then we're going to go along from this point here so all in all let's just build that along for two so all in all we have one two three four five six again on the diagonal from this one then it goes into the straight line just here now this straight line will go right the way alongside the uh, the lockers well kind of in front of them and uh, over all of the gaps and everything like this so it'll just go right the way down this end and it will stop just there just for now we build this all the way along for the two layers that we have and voila looking good now then a moment of truth down here we have to hope that we can get eight diagonal lots of blue terracotta and quartz bricks to connect to this one here on the diagonal as well so we'll start off course of course <laughs> of course at the end over here so we'll go for one quartz brick one blue terracotta, one quartz brick, and then three blue terracottas there. Well, technically four, just to get to the very top there, like so. And then we're going to do the same, so that's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew, phew, that is wicked. And then, of course, build these up as well. And then we'll do the same pattern as the previous one. And then our four lots of blue terracotta above, just here to make sure we mark everything out correctly. And there we go. Awesome. So you can see where the rink is kind of going into the corner there, which is perfect. If you'd like to go ahead and take your quartz bricks down here, we can actually as well kind of build them in here, just in front of the wall that we have behind it. So just this wall back here. It's because we're going to have the Rinkomania sign at the very, very back. And of course, we want to add like a little bit of depth to it. So we add in this little wall just to create that depth. And now we'll go back along the side here. It's not for as many as before, I don't think. It's one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So same pattern, we'll start here, one, and then we'll go for two, three, four, five, six, and then we're on the back wall over here as well, which is again the same pattern going along there. So let's build all these in, and then this one too with the quartz, and then we actually change up this wall closest to the front of the building, so this one over here, in a moment, but let's get this wall done just firstly, just so we don't get things confused just like so epic so now we'll come along to this one over here and what is kind of neat about these ones is they do have the quartz in front of them 
on this side over here so we can add in the quartz just in here like so and stop it just with that one there like that it's weird how it kind of chops off uh, this side but doesn't it kind of do the same on that side um, let me just double check it doesn't but I don't think so no we keep everything nice and flat on this one and then we like bulk it out a little bit on this side strange but I think it's because we have more pillars on this one on this one sorry than we do on the, the right side so uh, it all balances out in the end so now what we'll do is we'll go four blocks along which we already have here beautifully done and then we'll take ourselves our white our pink our blue sorry our magenta and our yellow and we want to go ahead and make the uh, the wall here like a pattern so I'm going to firstly start with my white just in line with the quartz bricks second lot of quartz bricks that is then I'm going to do magenta a pink a yellow and then so on with these materials so a white a magenta a pink a yellow white uh, is it magenta pink and yellow and then we have our first challenge which is of course one of the doors now there's just going to be a white block in front of, uh, like above the door and then we'll come down here for a mangrove door against the bone just like so and we can do the same on this one just preparing us for later so you just want to do one there and these are fire escape doors so they don't have to be perfect they just need to sort of cover up those bone blocks there now we'll go for our pattern again so we'll go for magenta the pink the yellow let me just change my materials around so we have the right sort of way around ah no so now we can continue from this fire door going along here so again white magenta pink yellow white magenta pink yellow white magenta pink yellow so let's just check pink above the other door yeah perfect and then we've got the yellow so we go for white magenta pink yellow white magenta pink yellow you can really start off make your own track here like song <laughs> and then we get to the end over here and we just need to connect to this one so we can continue the pattern going along this kind of strange area just there until we get to a yellow one that will connect to the top of that one perfect and now we can actually continue with the quartz bricks as well so we'll take the quartz bricks going in the gaps just here right the way along and uh, these are kind of representing lights that actually go on the wall here but of course we don't have access to the lights in Minecraft without using mods so we need to kind of figure out a different way of doing it now let's bring blue from that wall to the fire door past the fire door to the other fire door and then beyond this fire door to the back wall here quartz bricks again below stopping at each fire door adding them between and then stopping once you reach this side over here and then the very above the very top even you can just uh, go ahead and make the entire rest of the wall with your blue terracotta it isn't too fancy not gonna lie but it is really helpful for us because it is simple which is always good always appreciate a simple part in Minecraft when I'm building all these complex builds I'm like when we get to a, a thing that you can just fill or you know be really simply uh, placing blocks down it is so relieving it really is a nice feeling and we just fill in every single gap here like so and then we have a little pattern going along that wall like so oh, that looks lovely just check the four yeah wonderful okay then time to get decorating with our emeralds so firstly I'm gonna come over here so to our starting wall that we built there sort of starting position the ceiling on I'm gonna do two just this way now we know they're gonna feed right the way along that wall in a minute but we'll come back to that in a moment let's go one 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 this way and then of course you know what's gonna happen here we bring these ones going right the way down to the other corner over here connect them up like so now when we get down to this way we're gonna do the opposite of what we did before so ones but going this way and then we'll stop just before reaching this corner where we'll build this one straight down once again to this corner over here now when we get over this one to the uh, the blue terracotta you can build one just there and then go for the ones around the corner here whoops and then this one will come along again over the top of the Rinko Mania sign and into this corner over on the right side and then we'll do the ones again this way and then we'll do our ones coming along this way to connect to the uh, the ones we started with it's a very long wall this one so you have to really follow your end rods for the whole way Ooh, uh, like so cool let's just double check that other one yeah that looks epic that looks really good guys nice work okay so we'll grab ourselves some new materials now and complete up this actual rink area okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we'll take some lanterns some normal lanterns and some soul lanterns 
some light blue stained glass panes as well as some yellow stained glass panes red ones and white ones as well we'll take a block of diamond polished dorite and some goliaths and frames as well I must mention guys the block of diamond is going to be the actual floor of our rink um, so if you wanted to use your own material maybe something that looks a bit more like a rink material then feel free to do so it's just I use diamond because it kind of shines brightly and with all the end rods it looks pretty cool so uh, let's go ahead firstly we'll come up to again the corner we started with before we'll firstly take our white stained glass paints and we'll go to the first sort of jump around the corner so here we want to go one two three four just there like so and I think white is going to go all the way along this way but we'll sort that out later we're going to need to add in these weird sort of lantern patterns so we're trying to make disco lights so what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves polished door right on top of this entire rink kind of surrounding area so you see every single polished uh, uh, prismarine bricks sorry the prismarine bricks here and then the blue terracotta every single one of these blocks needs to have a polished door right on top of it so if you want to get these done guys and uh, what we're going to do after that so let's just kind of show you what I mean so if we fill it up together going all the way around the exterior of the whole thing don't worry about this back corner we're not going to need that for anything if you want to use it for something feel free but I'm going to leave it out for my one so we'll do the entire area surrounding the uh, the sort of rink markings just like so and then we're going to fill it all in so literally we're just going to go from end to end filling it across like this not really too fancy at all now it won't get too dark in here because we do have the end rods um, but it might be a little bit just you know be warned it could get a little bit dark in here so if you're watching on a tablet or a phone I recommend jo <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there I recommend putting up the brightness a little bit just in case uh, it does get a bit dark it shouldn't be too bad so if we go ahead and fill this over guys get this all done fill over the entire rink on this level even above the white stained glass we just placed and then we'll get back to the tutorial okay then assassin so you can see what I mean it has got a little bit dark in the center here like if we were building something down here that would be pretty hard to see but luckily all that's left to do is we're going to take ourselves our glass and our lanterns and build that lantern pattern now so we want to go ahead and start with a soul lantern then we'll go for a normal lantern and we'll make it so we have at least um, four of these or three of these sorry just up here so alternating between the three the two <laughs> and then we'll start with a blue then we'll go for a red I'm going to go for a yellow a blue a red why not a yellow again and then I'll go for a blue and then I'm going to continue with my white just here now make sure they're all connected on the corners you don't want a diagonal one like this because it'll look a bit strange make sure all of the glass is connected and these are supposed to represent well changing the lights of the lanterns almost so when you're looking at it from like a bit of an angle further back it kind of looks like the lanterns are that color as well so if we go ahead and take our white all the way along to the other side just over to here then on the way there there's kind of a few more so we can actually build those now as well we want to go for three blocks away from the corner one two three and we're going to build one just here with four lanterns this time we'll start with our soul again and alternate between the two just like so then we'll go for a blue blue yellow red blue yellow red just in here like so and now we need to make another one of these because we have quite a big wall just here we're going to make sure we have at least uh, let's go so one then we'll leave a gap of one two three four five I'd say just here so it's actually going to be six one two three four five six and then we'll start to build on this one knock out four again add in your lanterns of course between the uh, soul and the normal one just like this I think I might have one my original one I started kind of doing the opposite of what we just did so that both the normal lanterns will be kind of closest to each other yeah that looks kind of cool and then we'll go ahead and alternate with our blue our yellow our red blue yellow red just like so so again that's going to be three blocks in from this side over here that's all you need three blocks on both sides perfect and now over here on the corner there is going to be another one so we go to that second one in so we do this normal one second one in just here we will go for three lanterns again just on the corner it's going to be soul normal soul then we'll do a light blue a yellow red blue yellow red blue and then over here 
as well we're adding our white again just around the corner cool the white will now continue along this way going for three two three just like so before adding in another banner uh, sorry a lantern pattern which again will be the exact same as these ones over here so it's going to start with a soul until we have four lanterns and then we'll do the alternating with the glass just to get to here like so and then we'll use our wet again going along this way now this one's a bit more tricky to count so we need to kind of count the distance between the two instead of going on uh, in from either end because of course we have quite a lot of wall to go before getting to the other side let me go and double check and I'll be right back so over here we have of course the three then we have the lanterns and then we're going to count the glass here so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight on nine is where we'll start new lanterns just here we're going to start with a soul lantern and then get to a normal lantern just on the end there for four then we'll do our alternating pattern again with our glass not too fancy ending on a red then we want to go for five glass one two three four five just here and we're going to start a new one just here with our lanterns beside it we're going to start with soul and we're going to do four lanterns again it's just the gap is smaller between them then we'll do our pattern once again ending on a red then we'll go for another five white glass one two three four five then we'll do our lanterns again starting with the soul and then again with our glass just here like so once again ending on a red five more white stained glass one two three four five white stained glass panes of course and then we'll go for our lanterns for four again just over here one two three one two three and then in the corner there should be three blocks away from the wall just there good stuff now i'll go around to this one so that's the first one then jump to the second sort of gap here oh sorry the second gap is where we'll start so let me just remove that there we go so we're on the uh sort of first pointy end rod let's just say <laughs> the pointy end rod just here now this is where we're going to build another lantern as we did before so on this corner it will be a little bit simpler because we only have three lanterns to add in just up here so we've got this going around then we'll go for a soul lantern normal and a soul and then we'll do our glass again remember to go in and out diagonally oops mr red so it ends on a blue just over here then i'm going to do white into the corner and over here and then i'm going to do three so one two three white stained glass panes and then I'm going to build my back wall with the Rincomania sign and it's going to have four lanterns on it again. Soul lanterns over here with our alternating glass. Oops, no white stained glass. We don't want the white stained glass here. In the middle of these two, there'll be five again. One, two, three, four, five. Lanterns again. We're going to start on normal to match this one on this side. Normal, soul, and end on a soul. There we go and then three locks into the corner over on this way. Now this one will be two locks in, so we're gonna go one and two. So the second end rod just here is where we stop with our glass, our white stained glass. Then we'll go with our soul lantern, normal soul. Oops, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, and blue just here. And then into the white one again. So once again on this side, you actually be surprised to know that it's not gonna be three, it's actually gonna be four on this one. So one two three four just like so now that could catch you out so just bear in mind that is going to be four and not three let's go for a soul lantern a normal a soul and a normal one just here and then we'll go with our alternating blocks again just over this way we're going to do glass in the center i think it's about five on this one um once again i will check this one out but um, i'm pretty sure it is until we reach the other side so yep up here we're going to do five again one two three four five with the white We'll start with our soul lantern for four again. Alternate with our nice three materials here. One, two, three, four, five weights again. Alternating with our lanterns. The pattern again, which can, I know it's a little bit boring and can get old very quick, but it will look cool once it's done. So five, then we'll do five again. Five like so, just to make sure. Then we'll do the lanterns again. The glass. You can change up the class, by the way, whichever color you'd like to. And then one, two, three, four, five for our last lot of lanterns, which would just go in here like so. And then we should be left with six um, white stained glass on that side. 
We'll check it out in a second. Moment of truth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whew, perfect. Awesome. And now that is all lit up around the entire rink just in here. That looks epic. Now then, guys, what I'm going to leave you to do is if you want to take your block of diamond, go into the entire rest of the gla uh, glass, the grass floor just in here, including these little gaps between the, uh, the walkways. You want to go ahead and make everything in here with your block of diamond. So fill it all in with your blocks of diamond, and then we'll get back to uh, the tutorial. Go for it. Awesome work, Assassins. This is looking awesome. And as you can notice, it is glowing. It kind of has like a shine to it, which makes it look really, really cool. Of course, it won't look this shiny because we have the uh, the clouds above still showing, <laughs> um, but we will sort that out afterwards. We're going to now go to... Oh, before I forget to mention, if you uh, didn't know already, you have to change the one under the doors as well. I should have mentioned that before, but I completely forgot. So under each fire escape, make sure you have your diamond block as well. We're going to now take ourselves these glow item frames, and we're just going to scatter these about on the rink itself. So you can just like kind of pretend you're skating almost, and just kind of randomly place these around. Try not to cluster them up too much if you can, and uh, like I just did, <laughs> we'll have to change that in a minute. But if you want to go like on the outside, sort of on a row like this, then when you're happy with that, go on the in inner side, and we just want to scatter these about a little bit. We're trying to make spotlights from the uh, disco ball and trying to make them show kind of on the uh, on the actual rink here. It is tricky because uh, of course we don't have anything really to represent spotlights in Minecraft. So we have to experiment a little bit and go with uh, some good old fashioned glow item frames. Now if I show you my original one, if I quickly run on over to there, then I can show you what we're supposed to kind of have, have it look like. So if we go on the inside of this one, so it should look similar to this one. So you just have like a, a rough kind of pattern here. Not anything in particular, but as you can see, none of them are together. They're all spaced out nice and evenly. So if you'd like to pause the video just here, get a feel for it. And then uh, of course you can build your own one. But yeah, once you have done all of that with the, uh, the item frames, we're then gonna come back to, let's go back to the rink in progress. We'll take our polished door, right? And we wanna now go to this level just here. So where the prismarine bricks are. I'm gonna literally fill in every single part of this uh, rink to this level. So literally everything from the, pr the lowest point of the prismarine bricks is gonna to need to be now filled over to represent the roof of the Rinkomania. So everything will be like the new roof apart from the rink. So I will do this part with you guys because it is a bit tricky. So I'll just show you what I mean and then you can hopefully get this done for yourselves. So if we go from there, we really do use the main skating rink as our, sorry, the roller rink as our actual kind of roof dimension. So it comes in so useful for the rest of this tutorial. Gosh, that lisp. So literally, we just come out from it and then we fill over everything from it, basically. And then we're adding, obviously, their own, our own version of the lights above this area. But uh, a bit of stick drift or something there but we fill this all the way along to the other side takes a bit <laughs> to here and then you can also fill over the little gap in here as well so literally going on the same layer back to the building just over this way which will be the second blue terracotta going down let me just fill that over and that's going to be for some bathrooms and stuff later on so if you now want to get this done guys you just fill out remember from your roller rink your skating rink even and you just want to go ahead. It is a roller rink, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused. So we just want to build everything out on this layer just here. Get it all done, guys, and then we'll crack on with the rest of the build. Make sure to stay on this entire layer here. It's like building a cake. Let's go for it. All right, then, assassins. This is probably the most trickiest part, to be honest. This is probably the most difficult part. We're going to grab ourselves some door right stairs an end rod, a tripwire hook, a painting, a polished blackstone button, a stone button, and a random block of your guys' choice. I've chose block of diamond just because we only know, well, we, we already know that it's only going to be in the floor of this tutorial. So when I'm going to use it to place some end rods down um, with gaps between them, we know that it's not actually going to be permanent on the walls because it's only supposed to be in the floor of this tutorial. So I've just grabbed the block of em block of emerald, <laughs> block of diamond even. Oh my goodness! How can I forget diamond? 
block of diamond uh, for my temporary block. Alright then, firstly we want to build our disco ball and it's going to go right in the centre of the ceiling. Now to figure out the centre, what we're going to use is these five lantern sort of lights up here. There are five up there, of course they aren't really even, but that's fine, we don't really need evenness, we just need the, the middle one. So we're going to go one, two, and on three, so it's this one just here. We're going to use the lantern just here as our kind of guide, so we'll go in line with it. We'll go to the first whole block, so this one here, and we want to go to the 14th block from it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now I'm going to stick myself a block of diamond just here. I'm also going to pick block myself just a lantern, just to place it down here so I can hopefully show you what's going on up here. So there you go, like so. So you've got yourself on the 14th block away from this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and on 14, we've stuck our block. Of course, this is temporary. We're going to go to the other side of this block, and we're going to build ourselves a step here, a step here, and curve it around the block on three sides, like so. The side closest to uh, the other lantern, so going forward to almost the back of the rink, like so. And then we'll take out the block and try and curve the stairs around to make it into a corner shape. So to make it into like a a full circle like that. Perfect, well, it's a very square looking circle, <laughs> but that's fine. And then we want to do the exact opposite of this just below. So we're going to build the same sort of shape, the exact same shape actually, but just uh, the opposite way around. So upside down to build a whole disco ball. And there we go. So we have our disco ball from the ceiling like so. Now we're going to start to use our end rods and we're going to build these from the disco ball coming off on the ceiling. This can be very tricky, this is probably the hardest part, so definitely stay tuned. Firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down from it, so I'm going to look uh, at the, from up from it, sorry, up to it, and I'm going to go to this end, I'll go to this top block, and I'm going to go one, two end rods from the stair just like so. Then I'm going to do two out on this side, two out on the opposite side, and then I'm going to do an opposite two end rods from this one, so we've got this one going that way, we'll do this one on the left going this way. I'm going to take out my temporary lantern and we should have this shape here. It's starting to look like a satellite or something but that is <laughs> that's not what we're going for but that will do for now. Now what we want to do for now is uh, we want to take our end rods here and we have like the two of course. We're going to continue going two from this point forward. Now it can be awkward so what we're going to do is stick a temporary block here and a, tem a temporary block on the other side and we'll do two then we'll do a temporary block to the left of the last end rod, two, and then repeat this process. I will move my temporary block just next to my end rods, just to make this a bit easier for me. So just down here, I'm going to come two to the side of it, and then so on and so forth. And basically, we want to get to the other end and be a block from the very end. And this will go right the way across the rink. So it's really important to have this all in here. And it lights up the middle of the uh, the roller rink as well. So we just do it to there, so we're a block away from the glass up here on the roof. And now we take out all of the temporary blocks because they don't look very pretty. We just want to be left with the end rods up here. Like so. Perfect. Now I'll do the exact same on this one. So coming back uh, towards the front of the roller rink this time. Oops. And you see where we use the temporary block? so that we can get these emeralds going across the ceiling instead of coming straight down from the ceiling. That would look a uh, little, bit, little bit strange and probably quite menacing, just like dripping down like that. <laughs> we do that in the uh, restaurant area because we're going to add some almost lamps kind of above each of the seats, but we don't want to do it for the roller rink. We want it to all be neon, make it look truly like the 80s. Oh, stick drift, not good. There we go, like so. And then we'll take out all the temporary blocks in here. Removing, ooh, I removed the ceiling by accident. Place that in a second. Just like so. So now we have two rows like this. Epic. Now from the main disco ball, we're going to do a similar thing. Instead though, we're going to go to the sides of these ones on both of them. They're nice and symmetrical. And we're just going to place end rods coming out from them diagonally. They're only going to go for one. And we're going to do that continuously. So we'll build the blocks in for this actually ready to go. Making sure that we're a block away again from the glass um, when we complete this. So you can speed run this section a little bit which is nice and easy. 
and that's just a case of adding in the end rods up here and making sure that our last end rod will just be there next to this temporary block and then when we remove it it should just be a block away from the middle of this uh, three up here that's perfect then we'll take out all of these blocks and we'll do the same again and so we have four lots of these I'm going to leave you to do this on your own guys because I think that you can get this done but if anyone has any questions of course let me know down in the comments below just make sure that you're a block away on your final end rod we don't want to place one here because of course that is touching the glass we want just a block between them so let's go ahead and do the other two off camera and now as you can see that really does look truly epic and it has kind of lit up uh, the entire place here it's like enlightened the entire room which is awesome however we still have some dark patches and we want to go ahead and make sure that we don't so let's go ahead and take ourselves our end rods again we want to start actually this time closest to the lantern area so we're going to take our temporary block and we're kind of going to use this to our advantage here I'm going to do a temporary block just here and place one so that is actually going to be a space away from the middle of this three lots of white stained glass and then I'm going to backtrack with these ones so go diagonally from your temporary block and then of course this will be mimicked with your emeralds so now we can start with the emeralds and back up to that that one we placed earlier just to here and when you remove this you should have yourselves like a line a diagonal line off from the main kind of area just in here we'll keep a space away again from this area well two spaces away from the nearest emerald because we've got these ones of course a bit more forward and so we want like the little bit of sort of depth to it, the whole thing just there you can of course connect it up if you wish um, but I'm going to leave mine uh, you, ah, you know what no let's just go for it let's add another one just in here yeah, that actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I was like, ah, you know what? Nah, let's just go for it. Let's go for another one at uh, the other side as well. So exactly starting in the same position. And except this one is going to... I think this one ends on the, like, half of the six. So just down here, it kind of almost touches the glass here on the end instead. But that is absolutely fine. It's not going to. It's going to be a space away once again. And that's actually what we want. So we'll just do this again, just to here. So I thought I'd just made a huge error, but actually we've done it perfectly right. We're just going to stick another diamond block here, so then we can place one just here. Not necessary to place the diamond block, but it just makes sure that we've got everything in a diagonal line there. So basically, the backs to the end rods should be connected, so in the same line like so. And that is all good. Perfect. Now we just need to add two more of these diagonal lines, just a little bit further up the rink, up this way. So now for our last two lights in here, what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the disco ball and we're going to count along with our end rods this time. So we'll go for one, so bear in mind we're on this wall with the fire doors, so one end rod closest to us, two, and then on three is where we want to place them. So we're going to do one here, and then bear in mind there'll be a space here, so we'll place our temporary block, and then we'll do one here, like so. And that is where our new ones are going to start and they're going to go into the diagonal corners. So we'll go diagonally from these blocks, going directly into the corners they're supposed to, and that will be us completed with the ceiling lights. Keep yourself a space away again, so that's obviously the middle of that three on that side, and then this side will be hopefully the same, if not slightly different because the wall's different up here. Yeah, so again, space away from the four that is up here. Cool. And then we'll just build in all of these, remove the temporary blocks. We've got one final thing we can do with our end rods whilst we have them. And then we can move onwards to some better sections as well, some, some much easier sections, I think. So I'll remove these out. And then we'll come down to these kind of patterned walls over here. We'll place our temporary block in between every single one of these blocks for the pattern. And basically we want to have ourselves up, end rods going on the top layer and down ones going for the bottom layer so uh, what I what I mean by that is I'll show you in a second here we go so up for these ones so the base is at the bottom can be a little bit troublesome because they do like to kind of point out like that and then we want down ones so the base is at the top for these ones in here and these will just light up these blocks looking really cool and powerful and also make it look super retro in here. And then we'll take out all of the diamond blocks 
like so and you should be left with just the end rods on a nice colourful wall back here. Perfect. Now coming down to the DJ booth over here, we'll take the remainder of our materials and we'll go ahead and build them over here. So we'll come into the kind of gap back here and place two tripwire hooks with two more to the right. We want to do a 1x2 painting just here, so we're going to knock out the rest of the wall. Try and get this guy just here, Newton if you can. Then we'll pick block our wall back, replace that in, place a black stone button just here, another one on this wall, and a stone button on that one. So now let's come down to just finishing up some parts really. We're going to take an end rod, an andesite wall, some yellow and some blue stained glass, a pearlescent frog light, some white stained glass panes again, some quartz bricks, and some blue terracotta as well. Firstly, we'll take an end rod. We gotta love end rods for this build. They are a godsend. <laughs> we'll go up to the very top. We'll go for one on the second block in uh, on this polished dorite block just here. I'm gonna leave two blocks away. I'm gonna do this until we reach the other side. So we'll do two blocks, two blocks, and so on until we reach the corner up here where we're going to stop just the one after uh, as it goes around the corner. So just here. So that'll be on one, two, and on three, we stop just here. Now we're going to place ourselves some andesite walls on the below of these. So on the bottom of each one, you just have yourself andesite walls and they add a little bit of a lamp effect to the entire building and make it look really cool and also make the roof less sparse in this area. As you can see, it looks much nicer. And then we want to go across to the other side and also build these. So we'll start down here near the balloons. We'll go above this table on the back block of the table. This is where we want to build ourselves an end rod coming down. Oops, that's not in line. So it's just here. Like that. Perfect. And then this one will be two locks again away from each other. And stopping on the final, well, the, the first table really. So it stops just on this one here. And that should just be in line with the table below. Perfect. And then we'll add in our andesite walls again for each one of these. And it shouldn't interfere with any of your balloons or anything. It should just be in there quite nicely. Like so. And it also kind of feeds in between these ones. So again, it adds more of a perspective to the entire thing. Good stuff. And now we can use these lights to represent our other lights as well to kind of fit in our other lights. So what we'll do is we'll go down to our arcade. We'll go to the first sort of position here, so next to the rentals. We'll go three blocks from the, the actual ceiling. One, two, three. And then we're gonna cave out kind of blocks, uh, two blocks away from each other until we're three blocks from the snack bar sort of area. So up this way. And this one is our last one because we have three blocks just on the end there. Now what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna alternate between our blue and yellow, starting with our blue. And then on top of these, after we've uh, completed up the entire patterning, we can go ahead and put some pearlescent frog lights on them just to make them glow from the inside. Good stuff. Now we'll come on down to the, oh, there's another row just over here, my bad. So this one is gonna start on this one, but it's gonna go four, four blocks to its left. One, two, three, four. And it's gonna be here on the fifth one. And these will match up to these ones again. So again, they're just gonna be two blocks away from one another and going back this way. I believe these ones stop on the first office, but I'm not entirely certain, so you may just have to not quote me on that. I'm just gonna remove that, that balloon for this. So they stop just there, like a block away from uh, the office building there. I'm gonna start with blue again, and I'm gonna backtrack with my blue and yellow. It's only blue and yellow for these ceiling lights, which are nice and easy to build. There we go, lovely. And then we do another one, once again, four blocks away from it. One, two, three, four. On five is where we start. And this one is gonna go again along for two blocks. Now I think this one goes right the way to the other side of the building again. Um, however, we do stop before we reach the snack bar and all that other stuff uh, down this way as well. Remember to keep yourself two blocks away. You can use the previous lights to your advantage just to help you here. So we'll stop in line with the previous ones. We'll start with blue and we'll alternate again. As you can see, we're trying to alternate the entire ceiling here so that when you look at this, it won't just be like blue in a row and it won't be yellow in a row. It's all just like in a pattern like this. Makes it look really, really bright and colorful as well. And now we'll go further from this yellow. We will go um, further. Oh, sorry, there's another one I missed just down here. 
over at the DJ booth, you can actually add in one using these blocks. One, two, on three, just dropping a yellow there like so. Cool. Now back to this side. We will go for uh, up here where we have that yellow, of course. We're going to need to go for um, one in the corner down here. So just this corner area over here. We're going to go to our third one, so in line with this lamp. And we'll come to the corner block here. So that's going to be a space away from that one with a yellow. Then we'll do two blocks for a blue, two blocks yellow, two blocks blue, like so. And now we're going to drop down four blocks from these. So let's go from this one down to four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll start a fresh row just here. And now there'll also be another one just here as well, so two blocks away from it. One, two, three, four. On the five, we'll add in one more again. Leave a two blocks, one more again, and actually leave another two blocks for one more again. And this will start a three block row that will go right the way down to the other end of the building. Now again, these ones are a bit more strange because we do like a bit, bit more of an alternating pattern. We'll do a blue in this one and a yellow here, and that ends off the corner one just there as you can see. And then we're going to go down to these ones and we're going to start with a blue, a yellow, and then a blue again. Now the next one will end up being obviously one, two, three, four, and on five, two, and two. This one might actually be yellow, blue, yellow, because we start with the blues. And you see the pattern's going to happen here? So we'll do one, two, three, four, on five, two, and two. We're going to do our blue, a yellow, and then a blue again on this left side. So this goes on for a little bit, to be honest. It's a bit of a grind, but um, again, it looks nice and colorful once it's all in here together. So we keep it up and we keep pushing through. You guys are doing awesome. Blue, yellow, blue. And then once again for the four, one, two, three, four on five. Yellow, blue, yellow. One, two, three, four on five blue, yellow, blue, one, two, three, four, five, so here, yellow, blue, yellow, Whew. and we're almost there, one more to go, one, two, three, four, and that's five, blue, yellow, blue, oh, just check you've got four blocks between each of the lights, uh, just for the locker side, and then we're good to move on to the next part, so here we just want to go next to our last slab just here, and we'll build a wall that's going to be two lots of our light blue terracotta. Sorry, our blue terracotta. Then we'll do quartz bricks. And then we'll do two more rows above. This one's actually going to come out for two more blocks. One, two. And it's going to go along for another one. Then it'll drop down for two again. Two this side. And two again here. And as you can see, this is going to go into a big gap. So we're going to knock that one through. We're going to build ourselves quartz bricks here going to the back wall, so that'll be on the top row of our lockers. We'll build blue terracotta coming out one block from the lockers, just to match up to that quartz. And then we'll build the blue above the quartz as well, like so. Every block around here is going to be filled up with our white glass panes. We can knock out that end rod and do the same. So even next to the locker there, and over this archway as well. Basically every block that is exposed, fill it up with your um, white glass panes like so. Then we'll hop on into this area, and it's quite dark in here. We'll place one quartz brick here, a space away, place one, two, three. We'll actually go for four and five, and leave this one on the end empty. And then we'll spin around to the other side. We'll build ourselves one just in here next to the wall. Leave a space, do one. Leave a space, and do one, two, three, four, just here like so. And that should be the back wall just there. Perfect. Let's grab ourselves some more materials and get completing this entire thing. Oh, before we do, take your pearlescent frog lights, go two blocks in from the arch, place two here, two blocks in, two, and two blocks in, two just like so. Cool. Just a bunch of lights on the ceiling there. Always looks good. Epic. And then if you want to go back tracking, so like fly out of the ceiling, just here, like a superhero, and go ahead and stick yourself pearlescent frog lights on every single stained glass block then that will make sure this entire area is lit up on the inside too get this done guys and then we'll get some more materials and get completing the Rinko Mania now let's grab some light blue concrete some green concrete some iron bars a composter 
azalea leaves, a birch door, some birch signs, pink concrete and some jungle signs as well. So going on in, we're going to go ahead and separate these uh, rooms back here. They're of course going to be the bathrooms and whatnot, so we need to go ahead and make sure we get this done properly. We'll build blue from this point and here too, and then a second one on the uh, quartz bricks, and then we'll add the green in over here. Bear in mind we need to go ahead and obviously add in the blocks over the door frames. So we'll do one, two, three blocks coming down for the green, one, two, three for the blue. Over on this wall, this is good it's gonna be entirely pink. So you can just go ahead and build everything on here to be pink. You can do one, two, three in there, and then you can build this one to the ceiling as well. Just like so, and then we'll do one, two, three just down there as well, like so. We're gonna come on into the bathrooms. I'm going to take ourselves, oh sorry, let's firstly take a composter here, a space away, do another one. Stick two azalea leaves in the corner down here. Take your iron bars and go one, two from this one, placing an iron bar. Leave a gap of two and place another iron bar just next to the doorway here. We'll do ourselves a birch door just here and a door just here. And then we'll do two more doors on this side as well. Cool. Now we're going to sign this place up. It's quite hard to uh, get the signs written quick. So just bear with me, let's go for it. One above this door, which is going to say gentleman's bath uh, restroom. So uh, you can put the apostrophe and the S in there, and then you can go for restroom. And we're going to try and get this down to the second uh, layer on the sign, which is always a bit awkward. So we'll just have to like push that down like so. Not too bad. And then this one will say disabled restroom. So we're just going to write on it disabled or handicap, yeah, whichever you prefer. But we're going to add that in just over here. So restroom, uh, and then we're going to zoom this down to a second layer as well. And now we're going to take ourselves a jungle sign. We'll go ahead and use this blue and the green one. On this one, we're going to write strollers, or stroller, and our strollers will be fine, just like so. And then on this one, we'll write walkers. So it's either strollers or walkers that go in this little sort of bay and area uh, that you can store them whilst you use the bathroom, just there like so. On this one, we'll write ourselves a birch sign. That'll say, ladies restroom. So again, we'll do the apostrophe S, just to make it very nice and fancy. And then we'll write restroom again, just over here. We'll make sure to get on the second row down on your sign, just so it looks nice and cool. I spelled ladies wrong, I think. I'll check that out in a moment. <laughs> then we'll write on this one. You know when you forget to spell something? Oh my goodness. We'll write on this one, we're gonna go for second row down on this one. All caps, staff only. This is going to be full of like chemicals and things, so we definitely don't want kids to be in here. So we're going to write ourselves staff. Oops, I wrote staff clean. Staff only. <laughs> staff only on this one. Why did I write staff clean? Oh my word. There we go. It's because I was thinking of cleaning products. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Let's change the sign now to ladies properly. So it is spelled like that, by the way. I was just uh. You know when you sort of like misspell something and you, you sort of like start to think you've done it wrong? Nah, it's ladies like that. Perfect. Now we'll get some more materials together. So now we'll take some pink concrete again, some quartz bricks, some hoppers. Haha, <laughs> always love a hopper in a Stranger Things tutorial. We'll take some birch trap doors, a banner pattern, an item frame, some polished andesite slabs, iron trap doors, and a pearlescent frog light again. What is awesome about these materials is we can use them multiple times in different bathrooms because they're kind of the same sort of setup. So I tried to uh, build it the same way um, when I was planning this tutorial. So if we go to the back wall over here, we basically want to leave ourselves one, two, three blocks, and then we'll actually use this space here. So we're just going to do ourselves, um, I only need a gap of three. So yeah, we'll do this just here. So we'll go four and then we'll come down to that wall just there. We'll take our pink. And we'll sort of do this above the quartz. I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark in here, guys. But if you want to do this to the ceiling height up here, let's get a bit of light in here. Just like so. And then you can curve this around. You can obviously see where it's going to be there. So you just kind of drag that along and then close it up there, like so. Now, the roof is obviously quite high up, so you can obviously bring yourself the roof down a little bit if you want to in here. Or you can flatten it over with some pink concrete. It's up to you guys how you want to do it. But remember, we're going to add in ourselves two lots of pearlescent frog lights, two here and two here. We'll close up that, that hole in the roof and add in ourselves iron trap doors for the top there. Now we have this space in here. 
For the flooring, you can bring your along your um, uh, blue terracotta in here. So you can just kind of fill this over. You can even use um, some quartz as well. Anything that looks like a bathroom material is going to be definitely useful here. We'll take a hopper here and one here. We'll do ourselves a birch trap door from the wall folded against the hopper like so. We'll do ourselves pink concrete coming through the uh, birch trap doors like so. With ourselves some andesite, polished andesite slabs. Oops, if you can get it on the highest point. There we go. And then on top of the pink concrete as well. And then we'll take ourselves a item frame here and here with banner patterns in. And then we need to go to the other, the men's bathroom now, which is also going to have this sort of style. We're instead though, of course, from using our pink, we're going to use our blue because that's the same as the wall just here. We'll go ahead and use this wall here. So we'll bring the quartz along. So we have two blocks from the door on this side. We're building ourselves, I think it might be a green wall for this uh, men's bathroom. It is. So we're going to actually switch from the blue to the green. And we're going to bring this one up to the ceiling height. Let me just change it so we can get some light in here. There we go. Like so. Now we'll pick block our blue back. We'll go a space away from here to this one. Building in two. And then we'll take our slab here. We'll go two below and two above. We'll do ourselves a hopper in here. Ourselves a item frame on this wall over the cubicle just here. A banner pattern and our birch trap door from the wall down like so. And then we can take ourselves our pearlescent frog lights. We'll do an entire layer of blue for the ceiling. Just like so. And then we can add in ourselves the two lots of frog lights. We'll do two over here, two this side. So we have two in the middle. And then we'll just put the iron trap doors on like so. Perfect. Let's get some more materials. Actually, before we do, let's go into the disabled restroom over here. We can actually do a similar thing whilst we have the materials available. So we'll grab our green concrete back. We'll do ourselves a green concrete layer on the roof. Let me just show you what it looks like. So you can actually see, <laughs> it was a bit dark in it. And then we'll take a pearlescent frog light on both ends like so. As long as we have three of our material blocks above our quartz bricks, then we have enough space in here for the ceiling. Good stuff. We'll do a hopper in the direct middle at the back here, and then a trap door coming down like so. And then we'll do a, an item frame on this wall, either there or just here. Either way, it's fine. And then a banner pattern on there like so. Nice one. That'll save us some hot bar room when we come back to doing this area. Good stuff. So now we'll grab ourselves a white banner, an iron door, a cauldron, some tripwire hooks as well, a smooth quartz stair, some birch buttons, blocks of iron, iron trap doors, and an oak fence gate as well. Let's go on into our ladies restroom over here firstly. We'll take a white banner on the uh, in between of the cubicles and add in iron doors just beside that like so. We'll add a cauldron in here with the tripwire hook on. Bear in mind guys I haven't grabbed any water but if you want to add water to your cauldrons please feel free to do so. And then we'll take an upside down quartz stair here with a birch button just there for the hand dryer. Now this one is actually completed. Awesome. Now we'll go into the gents and we'll do kind of a similar thing. So we'll go for building the hand dryer just here. We'll do a button here a cauldron here with the tripwire hook on. We'll do a white banner just there. And then we'll take two blocks of iron here and here. We'll cut out the floor in here to add in iron trap doors just like so. If you want to replace the dirt with the blue terracotta, feel free to do so, or even the iron, that is absolutely fine. And then we'll do birch, sorry, um, the iron trap doors on top of both of the, uh, the sort of cubicle pillars there. Oh, not to mention adding in the iron door for the cubicle. We don't really want that open. Not in a gents, trust me. <laughs> there we go, awesome. And now we're heading on to the disabled restroom. We'll open it up, we'll come on in. We'll place ourselves two oak fences just here, oak fence gates, and two the other side. So you can imagine a wheelchair can kind of come right up to the, the toilet there and then get to it easier. We'll do ourselves a birch button up on this side over here, an upside down stair over here, a tripwire hook here with a cauldron below, and then we'll come to the other side and add in a white banner just there. And then we need to get some final materials to complete this one up. Let's go for it. Oh, whilst we have the iron trap doors, make sure to add them on the pearlescent frog lights too. Epic. So now take yourself some red stained glass panes, some jungle trap doors, a chest, a barrel, an iron trap door again, a pearlescent frog light, 
an armor stand, a block of redstone, and a piston as well. Not a sticky one. Always remember, not a sticky one. We'll go ahead and place ourselves two armor stands here. We're going to place one diagonally just there, and then we're going to try and place one up here to kind of fall onto that one. You may have to place it above the sign because I don't think they can be placed. Oh, okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> they can be placed there. So let's just sort that out. My little scientific experiment. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. And now we're going to take ourselves a piston that is going to go just in this space here. Oh, facing against this block here. And then we'll stick a redstone block on top of it. You can either shift or crouch click to place it. Just like so. Now remove the piston. Remove the block of redstone. And let's quickly pick block back some blue terracotta. And then grab ourselves back our redstone block. Probably should have done that the, the easier way of just placing the redstone block first. There we go. Got it back. In the uh, disabled restroom down here, we want to go ahead and build our red cord that is going to come down in front of the uh, hand dryer. So we'll do one, two, three um, lots of the stained glass just here. And then we'll do ourselves a jungle trap door folded down here like so. Now this is supposed to represent the... Um, it's got like uh, paper towels coming out of it, like a paper towel dispenser. So that if anyone who is in this disabled bathroom who has, say, autism or something, and they don't like loud noises like the hand dryer can make, then of course they can get some paper towels instead for drying their hands. Or of course use the towel. That is pretty cool. So there we go. And then we'll go ahead and take ourselves a chest and a barrel in the staff only section. Place a barrel here, a chest here, chest here, and then you can stick another barrel up there if you want to. And then here you can just add in one light above with one trapdoor as well. Good stuff. Now I'll quickly pick block myself my blue terracotta. Gonna, ooh, and also a sign. I like to grab a jungle sign for this one. I'm gonna come down to this area over here. I forgot completely about the section until I just realized it was still there. <laughs> like it was gonna magically disappear. So we wanna go ahead and add in a bunch more of these strollers. And what I mentioned by strollers are the, uh, the things you need to sort of move yourself around if you're a beginner in um, roller skating. So we'll go ahead and drop ourselves a couple armor stands in here. I recommend a good number. Let's go for about like four like this. And then of course you need to go ahead and place your opposite direction one. It's probably the trickiest part to be honest. Especially this one here. Put that a little bit above. There we go. And then this one over here as well. Um, oh, wrong around. Let's go for there. And then there like so. Cool. So now we need to get all of these into the ground by adding in blue terracotta blocks. Uh, to push them in. Oh, I need to remove that one for a second. So we'll do a block of redstone here. Ah! <laughs> uh, piston just here, not pushing me into the ceiling. There we go. And then I'll do another one, just placing the block there. Another one here. You can use the same block of redstone, which is nice. And then we'll do another one. Oh no! Didn't want him to hold it. That there. Sorry, assassins, making some errors. So that there, that there, perfect. Piston, and then our block of redstone here. Perfect. Remove that, and then we want our last one to be in here, of course. So we do that one there, and then we'll place the blocks around it. Make sure we can place ourselves the other arm stand. And then we'll do a block there. Our piston will go in this space here, and our redstone block above, like so. Remove the piston, and replace our blue terracotta Oh, in like so, epic. And now we write on a sign over here, stroller storage. Pretty simple stuff. Like this one. And then we'll do another one this side as well, the same thing. Stroller storage. Hopefully that'll be a predictive text thing for you. So you don't have to keep writing the entire thing out just like that. Second row down. And voila, the interior to the Rinko Mania is now completed. We need to go ahead and grab ourselves some materials for the roof, the very top roof I mean, and we have done. We have completed the entire thing. We have done. <laughs> we have finished even. <laughs> that wasn't very good English. So we have completed it. That is mad. Let's get some of those materials and get done with this build. For this mahusive roof, we are going to need only four materials. We'll take some white terracotta, some blocks of iron, an iron trap door, and some iron bars as well. We will firstly, off camera we'll do this just because it takes forever, we're going to take some white terracotta, 
will go just underneath all of the slabs and we're literally going to flatten this over to build in a giant layer of this. This is going to take a little bit of time guys, not going to lie, it is a bit of a annoying section to get done. But once it's all done, we won't be left with any of this uh, sort of stuff showing through. And if I show you, the other one is the exact same. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, I did it the old fashioned way and built up the layers. Blimey, that must have taken ages. Um, no wonder it took so long for me to finish this one. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just get this done. And then we'll get working on some of the machines up, up top, like air conditioning units. And then we can call it a day. So now we have completed that mahusive annoying section. Oh my goodness me. I wouldn't usually call like a, a section in a tutorial annoying, but oh my goodness. It is just so like, it, it just takes forever. You feel like you're going to place blocks forever. Um, but there we go. That is all done now. We'll take ourselves this block of iron. I mean, we want to basically make it like the real building. So the real building has a few air conditioning units on the roof, of course. But some of them we actually can see from like down below if we're stood on the pavement and stuff. So we need to go ahead and kind of represent those. So we'll just go for two, uh, four, six, eight blocks like so. And then we'll add in two lots of three here. And then all we need to do is add in iron trap doors like so. And then we'll do three of these things. So a cluster of four iron bars and then iron trap doors on top of them. And we're literally just going to scatter these around the roof. They don't have to be in the same row, not at all. You can do these in any particular order you like to, just as long as we have uh, as many of these as it kind of like fills up the roof really. So we don't want it to look too sparse up here. So we can do these the opposite way around if we want to. We can do them in any formation we want. It is really really about freedom this one. We just go a bit ballistic with it. Just trying to space everything out as well. We don't want anything to be too close together. So I'm going to do another air conditioning unit like back here for example. Do this one the opposite way around again. Might look a little bit odd, <laughs> but um, you know, unless you're uh, unless you don't like it, then uh, of course you can keep it this way. So we'll do another one just here, and then we'll do another, maybe two air conditioning units going this way, just as well at the back here. We don't really need to add too much in the middle of the roof, just because every single roof really is quite sparse in the centre. Um, but you can add a couple iron bars dotted around with like some iron trap doors on top maybe just for some extra like outlets um, but it's up to you guys if you want to do that and there when you're and there we go yeah when you're happy with it you can call it a day and as you can see my original one nothing too drastic at all I think there's only there's only about seven of those air conditioning units and three of the mini things so um, that's kind of what we've done up here really um, just a little bit of a different formation as you can see from the sort of road area if you go a little, little bit further back you can see a couple of these units sticking above the roof um, but there we go that is how to build the Rinko Mania from Stranger Things Season 4 and in Minecraft what an episode what a series it's been actually it has been massive um, and uh, very tricky to get this done to be honest I was a little bit concerned when we get when we started if I was going to be able to complete it but um, yeah we got it all done nicely um, what I forgot to mention guys at the beginning of the video is there will be a banner tutorial coming separately. So we're going to make some, we're going to get some banners uh, in here separately. Oh, one thing, take some prismine brick slabs and just go along here. How did I miss that? That is not good. There we go, just like so. <laughs> no one saw a thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do an, a banner tutorial uh, for the entire thing as well. So we'll do like a separate video just about banners because that always takes me forever to do. So um, yeah, we'll get the uh, rental sign up, we'll get the Rinko Mania sign up itself, um, and I think there's a bunch of banners that go on the inside of the rink too. So um, that'll be coming hopefully very, very shortly after this video. But um, yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you for your dedication again, guys, and all of your support in this mini-series. Um, thank you for being so patient with the uploads, it's been awesome to uh, finish this one up. Now we can work on some other Stranded Things Season 4 stuff as well. So yeah guys, if you did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like on it, that would be epic. If you are new around here and you're interested in staying tuned for future, hopefully much easier tutorials, please consider joining the Assassin Hood today for free by subscribing. And if you are on social media, so am I of course, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter and all of the other crazy places too with links below. But until the next time guys, you would have an excellent rest of your day, 
stay tuned for that banner tutorial coming very very soon I'll um I'll link it to this one so you can just beam on over there um, and yeah we can have ourselves a fully completed Rinko Mania. Goodbye for now assassins thank you so much